Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tell Row. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to hop into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. First, I'm going to do my prayer and then we're going to hop into the reading. Dear God, and Spirit, God, Heavenly Ancestors, Holy, Holy Spirit, I invite you and only you into my reading. I ask that you clear my energy and protect me from entities and energy that, that do not serve me. Thank you for showing me what I need to know, not what I want to know. And thank you for your divine guidance. I thank you. I love you in the holy name that I pray. Amen. So we're going to be doing all signs. Starting off with Libra. Most important messages for the sign of Libra, please. And thank you. Most important messages for the sign of Libra. Someone is taking advantage. So it may be you're feeling taken advantage. Maybe you're feeling taken, taken advantage of or... Maybe you might be taking advantage of, that advantage of something or someone else, okay? So most important message is the sign of Libra. I'm also here and don't soil away. Most important message is for the sign of Libra. Something is bulging. Most important message is for the sign of Libra. Alright. Someone is concerned. Libra, Libra, Libra. There you go with the Two of Swords coming out, the Chariot card, and then we also have the King of Pentacles. You might not see something. You may not see how um, how something is going to play out, right? It could have something to do with finances, the King of Pentacles, the Devil card at the bottom of the deck. Let me get one more card here for the sign of Libra, please, and thank you. It could be a Cancer here or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Here you are with the Queen of Swords, the Page of Wands. It seems like it's hard for you to become excited about some type of endeavor, but I want to see what's going on here. What's the Two of Swords? The Four of Wands, right? That's because you're losing hope in whatever this situation is to a certain extent. I think you're losing hope in a relationship, a connection, some type of type of foundation that you're trying to build. You're not you're or you're you're um un, unsure about which choice or which way to go. What's the chariot card? The justice card tries to come out in reverse. There you are. It's best for you to make the best decision for yourself, not trying to please someone else. Okay? The page of cups at the bottom of the deck with the seven of wands. It's about you being mature about some type of decision that you're making emotionally. What's the king of pentacles? But this also has something to do with your financial security or... Also, it could have something to do with like a father figure, knight of wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Or want, you want something serious in your life or someone ser serious in your life. But yet, there, um, oh my, why is these cards, so many cards in my deck in reverse right now? It seems like someone wasn't following their intuition about something here. Um, that someone was being deceptive or... An energy of trickery. You remember if I said someone was either taking advantage advantage of you or you taking advantage advantage of someone else. Um, someone didn't want to accept some type of truth, or I'm hearing some type of uh, someone didn't didn't want to accept the value of something as well. So there was some type of trickery involved here. Um, someone no longer wants to be. Okay, wait. So I was going to say some someone someone no longer wants to be wild, and th and then I heard born to be wild, Libra. So actually, some of you all enjoy the energy of excitement in your life, even if it's a little dramatic. What's the Queen of Swords? We have the Queen of Wands, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Double Card. Oh my goodness, Karmic Cycle. But someone is also realizing 
or this is what someone is trying to avoid. Um, you being impulsive with your decision making in regards to maybe relationships or business or emotional or whatever area in your life is creating some type of karmic cycle for yourself. Headaches, Five of Swords. What's this Justice card? We have the higher fin energy, and then we also have the Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like Source is trying to show you something, like show, showing you where something could take you, where something can lead you. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's an energy of competition, or like I said, drama. You remember I said that, <laughs> and I didn't even see the card out here. Something is leading to drama, or this energy of you not feeling happy with the decision that you're making, or where you're going in life. It's Devil card, King of Cups. Fighting your emotional uh, emotional um, maturity. So, what what do I mean by fighting your emotional maturity? You know, like you know what's right or wrong, but yet you go against the very um, intuition that you're having in regards to yourself, especially emotionally. It's something especially emotionally here. It's saying if someone is feeling like they can't do things without someone. Mm -hmm. Avoiding doing something differently in your life. Someone is like burying, burying, burying things that brings you confidence, strength, and happiness in your life as well. Oh my. So. Let's... A little bit more. What's this Emperor card? Please and thank you for the sign of Libra. Ace of Swords. So, um, you know, this is a this is clarity. This is knowing. This is an, under, an understanding here about this Emperor card. Maybe about what um your work. See, it has something to do with the Emperor card and the King of Pentacles. So it's something to do with your um, finances or bring some type of security in your life or a person. Someone who you look up to. This could be you as well on how to manifest this energy in your life. Happiness and longevity. King of Knight of Cups. This in reverse. Um, what's this Ace of Swords really quickly? It's some manipulation going on. A magician card in reverse. What's the Ace of Swords? The King of Coins. The King of Swords, excuse me, the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of cups wow wow but i'm going to tell you why i'm saying wow it's because i see you or someone here reflecting on the choices that they're making in regards to um how they in regards to emotions, right? How you get to, how you create emotional connections. You've been reflecting on that or it's something that you haven't been wanting to see. But I think you're going to be walking into some type of situation where source makes you um, reflect, self-reflect, or see what possibly can be. If you keep going down some type of road or whatnot. I don't see too much, I don't see anything super dark here, but I'm just saying, like, seeing what Source is trying to show you type of energy. There's, there is best for you to, I'm hearing, take responsibility, but have self-respect, love yourself, know what it is that you are capable of doing and having, but you also have to be mindful of when individuals and energies come around you knowing like your weaknesses yeah they put like something like where energies or individuals pull at your weaknesses to try to get you to turn away from your own morals and values <sighs> full rebirth right keeping you from creating some type of change or man change in your life what's this ace of cups the ace, I mean the star card, and then we have the three of pentacles with the lovers card at the bottom of the deck. Right, so all 
you kind of wish and hope for is a healthy collaboration, right? The lover's card. What else is that? The page of wands, but the ace of swords. There is some type of self-imposed imprisonment connected to it where someone is afraid to walk away from third-party situations. Things that, that can lead to drama. Excuse me, chaos, confusion, manipulation, deception. That type of energy. Quick advice for the sign of Libra. We're going to move on. What's the what's the advice for the sign of Libra here? Page of Swords. Look more further into something or someone. Especially when it comes down to relationships. But when you come down to... When you about to make your choices and decisions, look further into it. Because it may be something that you're not seeing. Someone might be in a relationship or something that you don't see. Um, something about the foundation that you're not recognizing here. But Source is trying to get you... To, to um maybe it's just to teach a learning a learning lesson here coming or it's either coming or source is trying to keep trying to keep you from it's trying to help you avoid the situation a disheartening situation hope i got that out so the advice would be the page of swords and the queen of swords look further into something before you commit to it eight of cups at the bottom of the day you walking away and eight of wands, which which would be you taking action. But then we go to the knight of um, pentacles, which is you slowing down. So taking time out to learn more about a situation or someone before committing to it. Okay. So we're going to be moving on, Libra. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me. And I'll see you all next time. Okay. So. Sagittarius, we're about to get into your reading. So, welcome, 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 Sagittarius. Welcome, and welcome back. To prefer her to roll while I can see that you prefer me. We're about to hop into your reading now and see what's going on with you all. Messages for the sign of Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Something is redundant. No rainbow, rainbows on my desk here, but I see the rainbow like it's in the spectrum with the, the color. Most of the messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Maybe it's something about you all being colorful. Maybe it's something about your art with the color spectrum that I'm seeing. Um, I don't know what that was about, but most important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. All right, let's go. Most important messages for the sign of Sagittarius, please, and thank you. So, we have the Three of Pentacles coming out, and then we have the Emperor's card coming out. This is someone wanting to, to collaborate with you. You want to, to collaborate with someone. Someone wants to gather, get together with some, some Empress in, individual. Maybe this can be some type of... Um, someone is putting... Some of you all can be getting things together for like a baby shower or something like that. That type of gathering. But someone's thinking about a long someone's thinking about long term commitments. More messages for the sign of Sagittarius. It could be a Taurus or um Taurus Libra or a Capricorn here, Scorpio as well with this death this death card showing up. Either you want to change for someone or someone wants to change for you. Someone was avoiding some type of change at one point in time. Five of Cups. Because of some type of fear. Um, one more card for the sign of Sagittarius. Five of Swords. Energy. This is someone being in their head. Headaches. With this card to me. Um, feeling like someone getting over on you. 
the end of that energy death card next to the five of swords it's the end of the energy of you feeling like someone is getting over on you it's time for you to move forward temperance card there you are there you are the four of wands energy as well it's time for you to become more comfortable what's the three of pentacles the, the devil yeah okay so you feel like you've been a you you feel like you've been stuck in some type of situation relationship collaboration that you really didn't want to be in um maybe you ended up um committing to something that you really didn't have the time for or yeah you don't want to be with that person or something like that what's the emperor's card we have the two of cups and a nine of cups energy hmm Someone feels like they were bamboozled. I heard bamboozled. Someone feels like they were bamboozled into the relationship, like where things were good, but someone is also realizing how much better it was by themselves. Ten of Wands. Now, there you are. That's your energy. You're feeling burdened there at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Swords because you're not being honest about like what it is that you want. Yeah, what it is that you truly want or something. What's the Death and Rebirth card? have the death and rebirth card for the sign of Sagittarius seven of cups confused unsure uncertain if you can do something alone or seeing a value within yourself or being without someone feeling trapped or feeling stuck what's the five of swords energy we're gonna see why you're feeling so trapped though so we have the king of cups emotional maturity so you, the reason why you felt trapped in a situation, you were trying to be the you were trying to be the bigger person in some type of situ, in, in, in whatever situation, but it also made you feel trapped here. Hermit card, the Hierophant, and then we have the World card. But haven't you learned enough? I'm here. Haven't you learned enough? Haven't you learned enough? Um, let's see what this devil card is about. Clarify the devil card. The chariot moving forward. Yeah, that's the very thing that's holding you back. Something is guilt tripping you from moving forward. And I think it's whatever that you're working with or whoever you're working with that's keeping you from moving forward. But, um, wow. What was I just saying about this king? Because I feel like it had something to do with it. It was... In relation to this but something is guilt tripping you from moving forward with this devil card and a chariot card yeah you're going back and forth on you being honest or truthful with someone as well you want to walk away from something or someone but every time you try to it seems like some type some type of drama is created I'm also seeing that sometimes it hurts someone to be alone. So we have two sides of the coin here. What's the chariot card? It hurts someone to be alone. And you don't. Okay. It hurts. It hurts someone to be alone. And it also um, would hurt you to have to leave. For for, the, for another person, it would be it hurts you to have to leave the other individual individual alone or someone something alone. So the Nine of Cups and the Hangman, <laughs> seeing things differently, enlightenment, being nice, being there for someone, um, but maybe betraying yourself. So it's like you're constantly being there for someone, but now you're self reflecting on maybe I should pull it back. Should I continue to? Wow, Knight of Pentacles with this. Eight of Pentacles energy is you putting in the time, energy, work into something, but yet you realizing that you need to slow down. You need to pull back a little bit. It seems like you're getting some type of calling, spiritual calling for you to end something. What's the hangman? The Queen of Pentacles. Being there for others. That's the mother, mother, taking care of home. Financially. Making things comfortable. I think you're realizing it's a different way to approach 
decision making or relationships more so relationships and commitments what's the advice for the sign of Sagittarius five of cups wow maybe to see what this is taking you oh source is letting you know that you might be crying over spill milk like it's something that's going down the drain why are you just watching this go down the drain it's time for you to appreciate yourself pick up this cup that you do have and appreciate it which is you can i get more on this five of yeah you're afraid to take a leap what's the five of cup what is the five of cups please and think wow okay so because you feel like there were failed, failed relationships failed friendships failed collaborations you feel like you won't be successful elsewhere or it's not possible but it is it's time to stop looking at what wasn't or what's not happening and start to look at look for new opportunities elsewhere it's time to ask for you some help from source what's the ten of pentacles and the yeah, ten of swords some things may not have been successful but you have to be strong enough to continue to work on a thing or, or to work on something else to work on other things that you would like so we're going to leave this here and we're going to be moving forward sagittarius i hope you all enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if it resonated how it resonated leave like she has all of that good stuff i love you all that love me and i'll see you all next time bye all right put my energy please now we're about to move to who is that leo all right leo 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 we're gonna use another deck All right. Most important messages for the sign of Leo, please and thank you. So, um, what's going on, Leo? Welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to talk to your reading and see what's going on with you all, okay? Most important messages for the sign of Leo, please and thank you, diversity. So, change things up. Most important messages for the sign of Leo. Okay, this is not the deck that I was about to use for you all. Most important message for the sign of Leo. Most important message for the sign of Leo. get into it what messages do you have for the sign of leo please and thank you queen of coins taking care of business home family those type of things with the queen of pentacles grounding yourself this could be commitments as well we have the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck self-respect two of swords energy if someone doesn't see it within you, make sure you see it within yourself type of energy. More messages for the sign of Leo. We have the Knight of Wands. So this may be calling for you to do something differently in regards to creating some type of financial security for yourself. Or this is you... Some of you might be dating, looking for a commitment. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny with the Ace of Wands and the Lover's card. Some of you are looking for, are dating and looking for a commitment. Some of you are, um, to be honest, you're maybe a little impulsive when it comes down to dating and getting yourself into relationships that um, have low vibrational ties and connections. But... That's just me being honest for what I see. The devil card is right next to the lover's card. So more messages for the sign of love, love Leo. We have the 
two of wands doing things differently when it comes to you creating not only financial security and abundance for yourself but long term longevity here okay family generational um abundance that's not what i really look for but yeah generational wealth we have the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck which is confusing confusion mixed emotions nine of wands worry doubt anxiety empress about maybe you taking it taking care of things or you've been taken care of more so you've been taken care of or receiving some type of justice after moving on creating somebody okay i think you okay i think you've created boundaries for yourself and you may have removed yourself from a situation okay um maybe you were once committed in a, in a relationship and now with you removing yourself from that relationship now you're single dating and doing things differently if you're not dating you're just in the energy of Doing something different because you you were once in like some type of committed situation. It could be work, relationship, however it is. More messages for Leo. I heard trauma bonding. Some of you all would probably trauma. Some of you all may have been trauma bonding. We have the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, that double card and that lovers card still there. At the bottom of the deck. And you might have been trauma bonding with an individual for a very long time. Or with different people. For a while now. You had those type of connections. Where there were trauma bonds. Queen of Cups here. Next to the Two of Wands. The Four of Wands here. I'm here and looking for love in all the wrong places. So what's the Queen of Coins? Let me see what else is going on before I start. Running off at the mouth. What's the queen of coins? Queen of wands. All feminine energy so far. Queen of wands on a queen of coins. The king of wands is at the bottom of the deck with the ace of swords. I heard, I'm hearing you know how to have at it. You know how, you know how to have at it. You know how to go out after it. <sighs> oh. You know how to okay. You know how to have at, at it. You know how to go out after it. But do you know how to stop stop it when it's necessary? Something like that. Like when you know that it's time to stop something. When you know it's not um worth your time nor energy, do you know how to pull it back? So what is this saying? Pick your battles. What's the Knight of Wands? We have the page of pentacles. Um, mm -hmm. and, and immature individual. So, or accepting less than. Something that didn't meet your standards. Maybe trauma bonding. Um, dealing with individuals just to have someone there. Well, wanting to be accepted type of individual. The devil and the king of coins. Um, working somewhere where you're not happy, but because you're getting a decent check, that's where you're gonna stay. I mean, a lot of people don't do it, so you can't. We can't 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 trip too bad about that. But sometimes when we are sacrificing our happiness, our souls for the abundance, mm -mm. I don't think that's healthy for us as spiritual beings. So, page of coins. Knight of Wands. I'm going back to it, but we're going to be moving forward. What's this? Two, what's this? Two of Wands. What's this? The World Card. Deciding to put an ending to some things. Now you're going to be moving differently here, or this could be you trying to figure what. see how i'm stopping myself because i know my spirit knows i know that i didn't get the full picture yet i haven't gotten the full picture yet because i can't even figure out if you've already done something differently here or this is source 
bringing something to an end just for you to do something different in your life. And it's like some energy of a rejuvenation or something. Let me move forward. I'm going to come back to it. What's the Queen of Cups? Excuse me, Leo. So we have the Judgment card. <laughs> it is some type of rejuvenation. Mm-hmm. Something being um, revitalized. We have the Judgment card and the Star card. Queen of Cups. The Ten of Cups. At, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Wands. So this is you. You, you making some type of... Um, decision in your life right these are big decisions these are big decisions why can i get it out what's this four of wands energy for leo justice six of swords in reverse you know how you can't move towards, you can't move to the next grade until you pass the one before. I'm getting where you had to repeat something. You may have had to repeat something and you were going through it over and over and over and over again. And until you learn that lesson, that's where you can finally move forward. I feel like you you are finally in an energy of being ready to move forward. Um, you had a, there was a misunderstanding as to like who your soulmates were, who your soul, soul connections were. Um, you expected things to go further with certain individuals who um, things weren't meant to go further with. And I think you are finally getting some type of understanding about these things. Seven of coins. Yeah, I think you understand like where you need to pull back, where you need to invest into things. <laughs> Sound like something like some type of um, submit or something that's fog fell through the wall. Um, what's the world card? Show us how the world card. So we have the king of king of coins, and then we have the four of cups, hoping and wishing, being stuck in position that you don't want. I see the ace of coins, the eight of swords, three of swords, energy in that. Okay, okay, this is like someone faking fake being happy but being stuck in situations because of excuse me opportunities you're not being happy though being in the mental um prison feeling like maybe you couldn't speak up in certain situations hoping for more maybe still getting less Maybe you were dealing with some type of toys or a Capricorn individual. Maybe this is you um, being done with a job with that king of coins, but you expected better from that place. What's the judgment card? The moon card. You've been afraid, seeing things differently, having self-respect, accepting the truth. What's the star card? Aquarius, nine of cups, hoping for your happiness. But once again, you have to make a choice. You have to make a choice to face some type of fear so that you can reach some type of, um, I want to say you move towards your destiny. What's this justice card versus for the moon card? The Knight of Cups. You didn't see You didn't see how much you didn't know. You didn't see how much you didn't know. You didn't see how much you were being watched. You didn't see how much like someone maybe yeah, someone was studying you. Or people didn't even notice how much you had to study for something. You were being studied or you had to study for something. Could be both. You went you and you were being tested. Yes, it's just, it's all the testing energy. I said that. Like you had to pass something in order to get to the next level. And now that maybe you're going towards this energy of passing, it seems like um like this energy of niceness or like a lot of people want to be nice to you or some shit like that. <clears throat> Not a bad thing. What's the moon card? Hey man. 
I see you building here at the bottom of the deck. New energy with the Page of Cups. You having to balance things out and be in control with that Two of Coins, Eight of Wands. You taking action. Uh, going against the grains of energy with the Five of Wands. Full card, taking a leap of faith. What's this card? The Five of Cups was trying to show itself. I don't know where and why. Feel like you messed up at one point in time. So, back to the hangman on top of the moon. Seeing things differently. Maybe you felt like trapped somewhere. Maybe you felt trapped in a position. But that's because you got to work on something here. What's this hangman energy? What's the hangman energy? Pisces. Could be a Pisces or Cancer here. The Knight of Swords. And there's that Page of Swords energy with that Queen of Swords. Like you being watched or you were being tested or... Um, Maybe you had to test someone else, or you were you had to go, yeah, go, you have you having to study or something to pass some type of test. I'm seeing you having the strength though to get over it to to thrive and survive. But not a source with this hangman. Something was someone was trying to tell you something, or some type of action you had to take. What's this Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups? More about the Ace of Cups. I'll be taking too long with y'all. The Eight of Cups. Wow. With the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, looking for a turnaround. But it was the it was like this question, or source was questioning you, or trying to figure out where you willing to walk away something, walk away from something, deny something here, so that you could um, not only gain something else so much better but have a sense of control and self-respect for yourself something was weakening you some type of position that you were in was weakening you and this is like some type of self-empowering situation where you learn to just say you know what I'm not dealing with that I remove myself from that situation before I let you diminish me What's the advice for Leo? Are we out of here. What's the advice for the sign of Leo? This, wow, the sun card. I'm going to show you that one. The sun card. Hold on to that thought and idea of wanting a, like a passionate connection. But you also know you have to know when to remove yourself and to have that self-respect. When you see like an individual or something that's being violent to you in your spirit. What's the sun card? The five. Five pentacles. Lack, lack thereof. Energy. That nine of swords. Energy. Having that strength and confidence to be. To. Um, I was about to say the man wrong. Having that strength and confidence to overcome an energy where something is trying to bring you down. Make you feel low. Make you doubt yourself. Make you feel like you aren't deserving of some type of ab abundance that you're that you're wanting or looking for. Okay, Leo. So I'm gonna leave it here. I already been on you all for too long. Hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated. How it resonated? Leave your like, shares, all of that good stuff. I love you all. That love me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey, right, let's move forward. Hi Scorpios, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to hop into your reading and see what's going on with you all, okay? Most important messages for the sign of Scorpio, please, and thank you. Most important messages for the sign of please and thank you on demand. 
on cue. Something is on demand. Something is on cue. So pay attention to synchronicities around you. Miracles, I feel like, will could and will happen. Something being on cue. All right. Most important messages for the sign of Scorpio. I feel like something may happen to keep you from walking away from something here. Her, your majesty, still respect. Most important message for the sign of Scorpio. Most important messages for Scorpio. Alright. Most important message for the sign of Scorpio. We have the Knight of Wands, we have the Five of Coins, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. A risk that someone took didn't lead, didn't, didn't, the outcome wasn't what you expected. It's not fulfilling at all. You're trying to manifest happiness, peace, love in your life here. You, you're waiting for some type of, um, Like waiting to be taken care of or waiting to take care of someone. Let me get more messages here for sign for the sign of Scorpio. We have the King Knights of Coins, excuse me. Slow motion, but for show motion. Taking time taking your time or something is taking a long time to come in to you. And the magician card. Whatever you've been trying to manifest, you have to wait on it. That's what I'm getting here. Seven of coins. Ten of Coins, Death Card, Sun Card, Queen of Wands. You're waiting on something here, or something. You, I'm gonna have to repeat it one more time. Something that you're you're you are manifesting. You have to wait on. Let me get more messages. What's the Knight of Wands, please and thank you. What's the Knight of Wands? We have the Nine of Wands. Not giving up. Okay, so. I hate to repeat it, but I just, I know I just said it like two or three times, but here's the third or fourth time. That very thing that you wanted to manifest, you have to wait on, but you don't want to give up. So you might be trying something different or you realize that you, whatever you had to, or you tried to do may have been a, a risk at the very beginning, whether it was a good risk or a bad risk, but a risk is a risk. Um, what is the five of of coins six of cups the past children reflecting on the past maybe you feel like you're missing out maybe you feel like you missed something in the past like you didn't have something in the past that you want seven of coins still waiting here what's the knight of coins excuse me What's the Knight of Coins? Seven of Cups. Someone refuses to make some type of choice or decision. Deep into some type of dreamy state. The King of Wands and the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Confused about how to move forward. Hurt about where things are going. What is the Magician card? Like, I'm feeling all this negative energy, but yeah, we do have the Magician, and then we have the Ace of Wands. But there's a lot of worry, doubt, and anxiety connected to it because it's also some type of truth connected to it as well. But I'm guessing that, tr that truth is what someone doesn't want to accept with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Can I get more on that Seven of Cups? Yeah, someone's definitely in, in, in denial. Seven of Swords energy clarifying the Seven of Cups. Lies, deception, BS. Excuse me, the truth is right here. They're like, you know the truth. You know the truth. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Three of Swords, heart, heartbreak, pain. Two of Wands having to do something differently here or... Um, Someone could be moving forward in some type of relationship and it's a third party.
someone, yeah, it's like you expected something to happen or something to turn out a certain type of way, or it was something that you wanted in the past that you realized you're that you not you didn't have it, or you still not you still haven't got it or something. You yeah you know, you're you're thinking about you feel like you've been you've been you've been betrayed because of what you haven't gotten or you still waiting for. Can I get more on this Ace of Wands? Maybe this could be this is the energy of it still could be manifested, but maybe not in a way that you expected it to. So we have the Four of Wands popping out, but um, it didn't come out. What's the What's the Ace of Wands? The Page of Swords. I'm looking into something. Learning something. Looking into something. Oh. So. Whatever you feel like you haven't gotten yet. Right. I think Source is basically saying that you can still manifest it. Just look into other ways on how to get it. Now, you may not have received it the way that you tried to get it, but it might be a different type of way to get it as well. Nine of Cups, happiness, four of wands. It could have something to do with relationship, a home, whatever type of foundation that is that you want. Um, it's time for you to receive a better understanding on how to get it. I think you may have been heard about it because you have been waiting for so long or you still haven't seen the outcome of it, but it's still possible to get. So what's the advice? The strength card. Wow, we just came out of Leo energy, and your advice is the strength card to be confident, to to overcome, to be resilient, Knight of Cups, to be still soft and tender to yourself, even if you feel like you've been rejected or blocked. What's the strength card? We have the Nine of Cups, and we have the Queen of Swords. So try not try not to be a bitch about it. Avoid bitchs. Um, it's, it's sad ways. It's damn near in reverse. So that's why I'm saying it. Uh, try be happy instead of being down. Type of energy when you feel like you have to. I guess fight a little bit more. And for someone else, it's still a possibility of love or having the love that you want out there as well. What's that Queen of Swords energy? Three of Swords. Okay, someone could have been hurt by this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And trying to figure out a different way to smooth things over with that individual probably made you hurt a little bit more. So it's kind of making you a little bit cold when it comes down to um, being soft and caring towards other individuals. But anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Scorpio, I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave your likes, shares, all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hi, Aries. Welcome to welcome back to Prefer Her Tell Row. I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to hop into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading, Aries. Her forbidden fruit. Oh, I was trying to get that hair out of my mouth. <laughs> Most important messages for the sign of Aries, please and thank you. Most important message for the sign of Aries. I'm trying to make sure you all can hear me clearly. Looks good. All right. Most important messages for the sign of Aries. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm hearing the word discrimination. But that could be towards anything. Most important message for the sign of Aries. Check your temperature, temperature and temptation. All right, Aries, Aries, Aries. Let me make sure. No, 
Okay, I did them already. Aries. Most important messages to Aries. Okay, that was pretty quick. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Two of Cups. Okay, we have more than I need, but the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Swords. I feel like someone's trying to tell you something that you're not trying to hear. It could be about a person that you're connected to, that you have some type of soul tie with. This could be a friend. Um, yeah, I feel like you really don't want to acknowledge it. Acknowledge, like, what are you waiting for? Like, what's the point? I'm trying to figure out what's the point? What's the purpose? Um, someone could be betraying you. <clears throat> Excuse me. You could be betraying this person without even knowing it. We have the higher friend that's teaching and learning experience. I'm guessing about um, your willpower, your confidence, you um, being resilient, you restraining yourself from something. And what is that? Yeah, you're 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 keeping yourself from you keeping yourself from some type of heartbreak heartbreaking pain. Excuse me. What is the seven of pentacles? So the six of pentacles came out in reverse. What are you doing, Aries? I feel like you might be over um, extending yourself here. The Ten of Wands, overburdening burdening yourself here. The Ten of Pentacles. But we have three tens. So I don't know about... <sighs> things being super heavy. But I think that... I think... I believe that things may be coming to... Um, to a completion so something may be coming full circle it's the only thing that's not here is that ten of swords energy but yet i see it i see it even though it's not out here i see it but we have the ten of wands ten of pentacles and the ten of cups maybe it's time for you to receive some type of clarity or understanding on something that you haven't been receiving. I think it may be time for you to walk away from something. Here. I know you might be a little bit unsure about that. Because I do see a new beginning as well. But something is definitely coming to a completion here. What's the two of swords? It's not the end of like everything. But it's time to... It's a completion here, I believe. So, what's the strength card? I'm I'm repeating myself tonight. So, <laughs> the strength card, <clears throat> you overcoming, you you re, you being resilient, or restraining yourself from something, or it's a reason. Okay, there is a reason why you need to pull back from something. <clears throat> it's a reason why something doesn't feel right. It's a reason why you haven't heard from someone or. <clears throat> Uh, you feel like you you're you have this uneasy feeling, or you haven't received all the inf information, or you haven't received that call, the devil card. There's a low vibrational attachment here. <clears throat> Excuse me, that I feel like source is trying to keep you from. So yes, so it's almost like a um rejection is God protection type of energy here. Uh huh. This there's also an energy. Yes, yeah, to keep you from denying or <clears throat> excuse me, disregarding something important in your life, Aries. What's the two of cups? The ten of pentacles come out. Long term relationships. Something that you can build off of. Something that you can benefit from. But the Seven of Cups and a full card at the bottom of the deck with the King of Swords. I feel like you know. There it is. You know you need to make a choice to end something. <clears throat> Excuse me. You haven't been speaking up about something. You, and I said that. I feel like you, you either haven't received the confirmation. You haven't received the information. Or you haven't said something. The Knight of Swords. 
where like you didn't want to acknowledge something. Some words unspoken. I feel like you know justice <clears throat> in this situation would be to like say no to something, put an ending to something. What's the Eight of Swords? The Knight of Pentacles pulling back, taking things slowly here. And that bothers you to a certain extent. The Fire of the Swords doing what you have to do for a new opportunity. High Priestess, you know. You know what you have to do, but you don't want to give up on something or someone. Six of Cups, the pairs, an individual from the pairs. Um, you don't want to reject something or reject this opportunity or you don't want to make the choice. What's the Knight of, Knight of Swords? <clears throat> or deny what you have with someone. We have the Justice card and a Judgment card. Nine of Swords, there's that worry, doubt, anxiety about speaking up or... Accepting some type of truth or making some type of decision here and actually speaking up about it. Queen of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. <clears throat> Someone's feeling sad about sad about what's, what was created. Someone is trying to hold something to themselves. Someone's worried about what someone is going to say. What's the justice card? No, what's the strength card? Leo energy. What's the justice card? The high priestess. There's anointing, divine guidance. We have the ace of pentacles. There's a gift and opportunity here. <clears throat> someone didn't want to acknowledge an opportunity that you had or someone else had, a gift that someone has. So someone has a hold of a gift. Like this is someone's non-acknowledgement to what you or someone else have or has, excuse me. <clears throat> a gift, a, a gift like, is a gift or an opportunity? It's a blessing. I, want, I wonder what that is. What's the justice card? I'm going to move forward. What's the justice card? Hello. The four of cups, rejection. Wanting more, four of swords, pulling back now, the pentacles, pentacles doing something on your own. What's the judgment card? Give me one second. The ace of wands. Okay, you're making a decision to manifest, to create. You're inspired to do one thing, but you know you have to end it elsewhere. Right. You're inspired to do one thing, like going towards your destiny type of energy, something that really makes you feel good. Connected to the heart, emotionally fulfilling, but you know you have to pull, you know you have to pull back from something else where you're not receiving what you desire and you try to avoid Whatever this is or whatever this opportunity or this gift within you or whatever, whoever, what whoever is connected to this, but you can no longer avoid it. You, you're receiving all this. Um, into, did I say synchronicity with you all? Anyway, you're receiving all of these um, downloads and stuff about it. What's this Ace of Pentacles? The Three of Wands. Same things coming towards you. This brings more to you. An opportunity that will bring more to you. But you have to pull it back from something else. Something that's bringing you inspiration. And it's helping you see things differently. Differently. 
there's also some type of deception to the connected to the people that you associated with. What's the Ace of Wands? The Star Card Destiny. Will of Fortune at the bottom of the deck turning things around. And then the Three of Pentacles. So the, here you are, King of Pentacles, working and motivated towards creating a change in your life and going towards your destiny. This is what you're passionate about now, going towards your destiny. This is the passion. This is the inspiration. This is what the inspiration is connected to. Hope, renewed faith, going towards your destiny. You making that choice and decision to go towards that. But you know you have to remove yourself from something else. What's the star card? Aquarius energy. Seven of swords. Deception. Temperance. Temper yourself. Did I say that at the, at the beginning of your reading? I don't know. I don't remember. But this is um being calm, cool, and collective. Truth. Yeah. This is moving towards the truth. Pulling away from deception, deception within yourself, pulling away from people who are deceptive with you or you have to be deceptive to who you can't be honest with you with or be your true self with. Um, this is you pulling back, being more centered. This is moving away from deception, competition, drama. Um, could have been drama in relationships. Can I get one on the temperance card? Could be a Sagittarius involved here as well. But this is you working on, yeah. Okay, five of pentacles. Uh, Working on the things that you've been avoiding or neglecting. But, but, but are actually important to you. Okay, so Aries, let me pull a message. Quick advice for you all. Then we're going to move forward. Can I get some advice for the sign of Aries? The nine of pentacles. Independence. Excuse me. Authenticity. The sun card at the bottom of the deck. And the seven of cups. It could be shining a lot. Shining the light on confusion. This can be dealing with misconceptions. This could be you jumping towards your dreams. Okay. This is you imagining a better life for yourself or more peace and fun in your life. You making a um taking some type of risk as well, but being staying true and connected to you first and foremost, Aries. Nine of Pentacles being your that's your advice to, to, to be true and connected to you, to remember your value, to know your worth, to have fun, to be enlightened, to go out, to chase after your dreams, to continue to imagine what it is that you want, to take leaps towards it, things like that. So I'm going to leave that there, Aries. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. If you like, share all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me. And I'll see you all next time. Alrighty. So let's move towards Cancer. Feel my energy, please. And thank you. for the sign of cancer please and thank you the most important messages for the sign of cancer oh I didn't even let you know you all know or say hello Hi, Cancers. Welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to hop into the arena and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Most important messages for the sign of Cancer, please and thank you. Most important messages for the sign of Cancer, please and thank you. 
some of you all have been driven to a low point. That's all I'm hearing. And hopefully everything is okay. Most important messages for the sign of cancer. But I feel like with that message, you all have been pulling yourself to a high point as well. So with whatever it was that was pulling you down to that low point, I think you've learned to pull yourself away from that. To be more emotionally in control. So you can make better decisions and choices for yourself. Mm -hmm. So source I showed you some things that you were being in denial about or deceptive about or someone who was being deceptive with you. And how to receive some type of karmic justice for that. Most important messages for the sign of cancer, please and thank you. Without guile. Alright, so we have the sun card. Leo energy, the six of wands at the bottom of the deck, success, double Leo energy. You might have that in your chart somewhere. We have the world card, something coming to an end. I feel like there was something that was successful. All right, that may be coming to an end right now or a completion of some of something is bringing in some type of excitement. All right, can I get more messages for the sign of... Who am I talking about, Cancer? I heard Pluto energy because I don't know why why was I hearing Pluto energy. That's what threw me out. But moving forward, we have the Knight of Wands coming out. And so excited to take some type of action or risk. It could be impulsive. You could be meeting someone out of nowhere. We have the Nine of Cups. But I feel like you're just excited about something, Cancer. Let me get more messages. You're excited. We have Three of Cups. <laughs> Celebration. You might be going out or we have the will of fortune. Some type of turn of, uh, turn of events that's making you feel real good. It's making me feel real good as well. So I'm happy for you. Um, congratulations. So I can't figure out what came out first. So we have the magician card coming out. The six of pentacles was in reverse in my last reading. But it just popped out in reverse as well here. I would take it as it is, but I'm not sure which card came out first. I'm taking the Magician card first, and then the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We have the King of Swords, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. <sighs> Following your heart will make sure you do what's right. Cancer. You've been manifesting this happy, this peaceful energy, this celebration this success this love this joyful energy that you have right now or that's coming to you i feel like you are around people that care about you the six of pentacles energy in reverse though let someone help let someone help that's what i'm really getting with that with right now i'm going to get some clarification here we have an aries energy here we have Leo so far. And then, of course, we have you. But let me move forward. What is the sun card here? Sagittarius. What's the sun card here? The Ten of Wands energy. You've been through some tough times, troubling times. You feel like, okay, I was just going to say that. I'm like, well, I'm seeing an exciting energy. How you all are feeling good, but I'm also kind of giving like this been heavy. So maybe you just finally got over this hump because I see you probably were worried at one point in time. You were carrying these burdens. You probably were overworking yourself. You were overly exhausted here. Yeah, you just trying to you were just trying to make it through, trying to um, create boundaries in your life, trying to say no when you needed to say no, but. It was a lot of times where you just had to say yes or that's what you felt like. What's the Knight of Wands? Nine of Wands did come out. The Three of Pentacles. Now I wanted to give up on what it is that you were working on. The Page of Cups. It could be an apology or this like a new energy of love. Being open and excited to some type of emotional energy. But with the Five of Wands, there, was a, there were, could have been some drama or you probably were dating. Okay. You could have been dating several individuals and you probably didn't want to give up on someone. We have the Nine of Cups, the Four of Swords, but then we go back to the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you all were tired of being single, so you started to date several individuals for some of you. 
and that became exhausting what's the three of cups bam bam someone could have been given to two and now you over it or you were dealing with someone who was given to two or more than two and now you're over it <laughs> over it the tower card came on top of the three of cups yeah you're tired of this you're ready for this burden to um to to you're ready for this tower to fall or something happens where this gets exposed exploited the four of cups someone rejects it someone rejects the truth the truth was was there but someone may have rejected the truth at one point in time but i feel like someone no longer can reject that or you could if you want to but what's the magician the nine of cups and the five of wands yeah i didn't just say that you could if you want to because someone looks it looks like someone has tried to deal with the fact that deal with the fact that other people were involved there was the composite it was it was composition it was like okay it's gonna be okay i win or i can win i guess the ace of cups and the full card taking a leap of faith with loving yourself okay do something differently and love yourself i'm not saying that all of you don't love yourself but that's what i'm seeing here like do something new and love yourself take some type of action be truthful with yourself be truthful with other people in with whoever else is involved here the six of pentacles in reverse what's the six of pentacles in reverse the eight of wands and the world card at the bottom of the deck justice so the best thing to do here is to end this queen of wands someone could have been um in the past you could have been like the other person the other woman here, five of cups. That's why I felt the energy. Five of cups and the seven of swords. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, mistaken with what I'm just seeing there, <sighs> there was no equal. There was no reciprocity here. But someone continues to move forward in this connection in this relationship. But it's like it's over with, or it needs to be over with. Something is coming to an ending. What's the tower card? Someone tried to make this work. I don't think it's working. The fool card and the and the knight of swords. Some type of communication came through. Maybe someone is feeling foolish here. The five of swords. Someone felt like they did what they had to do. To take what was theirs. The ace of pentacles. Knight of swords. The queen of cups. The, the moon card. But yet, low key at night, someone was still hurting. What's the fool? What's the fool card? We have the world card. Just as quick as something started, it ended. Seven of Swords. Someone was being deceptive about how everything was good or if someone had a family or not. Someone act like everything was wish fulfilling, but it really wasn't. Ugh. I feel like Swords tries to get someone to see that as well. Like, no, something is missing. Something is off. What's the world card? It's also... This is also a spiritual inter inter intervention here with this um, full card and the world card. Like, this is just like someone got saved. <laughs> What's the world card from you being stuck in a situation that you shouldn't be in in the first place? The Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Swords fighting for this opportunity. Doing something differently. Four of Pentacles. There was a blockage at one point in time, I feel. Like, someone started to hold back. You were unsure. Someone was. Someone. Okay. Someone was financially able to do what they were doing here as well. Yeah. But that also gave this individual the leeway to continue to do what they were doing because other people, five of swords here, whether it was you or the other people involved, allowed this person to do what they were doing because of. I'm guessing the financial gain. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Because this person had the ability to do so. What's the Ace of Pentacles? The King of Swords. Someone becoming cold or... What I really get there is like... Trying to separate or not trying. Separating the feelings from what's going on for the opportunity. It's like being the boss at work, but if this has anything to do with a relationship, that wasn't going to work. An emotional connection or relationship, that wasn't going to work. We have kids that may be involved here with the Six of Cups, or this is just acknowledging your past, how you were feeling, the Seven of Swords, deception about what you're feeling. 
wish fulfillment. So can I get the advice here for cancer? For, damn, excuse my language. We have the three of swords here. I'm here and bending over backwards. I don't know what's going on here or if that's how you were feeling. But the seven of cups, I think you were trying to figure out. Someone trying to make trying to figure out how to make it through what they have here. Um also with the advice with the three of swords. It, I think this is more so acknowledging your hurt, acknowledging your pain. So someone trying to feel like someone trying to act like they're not really hurting here. What's that three of swords? Five ventricles are like their of energy. Chariot card, star card at the bottom of the deck. So what's coming out is that your pain is showing me your pain. Like source, source is showing me your pain to let me know, to let you all know that as much as you may be coming across as if everything is okay or everything is just fine or you can deal with this and you can deal with that, you are hurting. You're not feeling good. Chariot card and the, and the star card, not to say that you won't be feeling good. I feel like this is just it, you acknowledging that pain. And once you do that, source can help heal that as well. And the reason why I say that is like you won't even get this feeling of you not allowing source to help you help heal you with the pain. Help heal the pain within you. Help heal whatever trauma that you've been going through or something like that. I'm going to leave that here, Cancer. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know that down in the comments. If it resonated, how it resonated, leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hi, Taurus. Welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to hop into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading, Taurus. <clears throat> Most important messages for the time of Taurus. Please and thank you. Most important messages for the sign of Taurus. So, um, the reading that I did for you all last night, I would just put it up for a bonus, okay? Because I get tired. Most important messages for the sign of Taurus, please, and thank you because I did a little bit. But I guess I didn't have to tell you all that since I didn't post that one. Here we go, Taurus. Most important messages for you. We have the King of Coins. But yet I'm hearing slow and steady wins the race. It could be a message for me to slow down. But the king of coins is um, it's giving me this energy of prosperity, of course, abundance. But your security, I feel like something about you being firm in your beliefs about your abundance or how to get to financial security or maybe you helping others. Um You might be ready to commit to someone, but let me get more messages before I go into that. So we have the eight of coins. You're working on something. The justice card. And then we have the, the full card, a new beginning. You're ready to work on this new, new beginning. You're ready to, or... You're thinking about committing yourself to something in regards to your financial success. Something that you've already been putting your time and energy into. This could be business or this can be a re relationship. But not only do you know what you don't, you're you doing, but there are a set of people that you're working with as well that you feel are good for you. You're taking a chance on someone. You can if it if it's like a um, intimate relationship, you feel like you're willing to take a chance on this person. Can I get more messages for the sign of Taurus? I feel like this might be a little bit different energy from yesterday. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Or it could be a little bit different for some people because the tower is at the bottom of the deck, but we have the emperor and the emperor's energy. So it's some nice balanced energy here when it comes to your financial success or 
when it comes down to some type of opportunity that you've been working on um, relationship-wise, intimately, intimate-wise. The Tower card and the Two of Cups, I feel like this individual who you're working with or you have this relationship with has pretty much changed your life pretty much changed the changed the way you think okay about things the three of pentacles i'm hearing time is valuable and this is valuable to you let's move forward so here you are showing up in your own reading which is beautiful it could be a Virgo here as well. But let's get more into this. What is the King of Coins? Or Aries. So we have the Three of Coins here. It could be a Capricorn. We have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you, you're working on your um, long-term long happy, long happiness. Some of you all could be thinking about marriage as well. Some of you all could be planning a wedding. Okay? What is the Eight of Coins? We have the Queen of Cups. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is someone who's been working on their emotions and sharing your emotions with someone or others. The Eight of Wands. I feel like once you express your feelings or something like that, it changed everything. Like you, once someone says a certain certain something or something like that, or you all uh, engaged into some type of intimate conversation, it, it got deep. It got deep emotional wise. And that changed a lot of things for you all. But moving forward, what's the Emperor card? This is a beautiful reading. So we have the the Page of Cups. It's a new feeling for this person. Or this person is looking forward to having, to be honest, like children. This could be an apology. But what's the Empress card? Justice card at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. This person wants something fresh. Clarify the Empress card. Or this person feels like it's something fresh here. This could be you. So we have the Queen of Swords on top of the Empress. So it could be a, a um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. The Three of Swords, the Libra energy. But someone could have been, I did say that this person changed the way you view, view things. Or you changed the way this person viewed things. Or, yeah, you all both may have changed, okay? So the way you, in, like, the way you all think. It it, it 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 has changed the three of swords someone has been going through a lot of hurt heart heartbreak and pain um feeling all type of ways having to see life differently here maybe feeling stuck eight of cups having to remove themselves from situations this could, this could be this could be you the sun card i feel like someone's um oh excuse me it's time to eat someone's sunshine is finally shining on them that's not the way i really wanted to say it but someone is finally seeing the sunshine okay or valuing that energy as well. Let's get some advice really quickly. It, it could be two women here. No. It could be. I like a mother. Excuse me. And I feel like maybe a sister as well for some of you all. Excuse me. Um, what's the advice for the sign of Taurus? Excuse me. What's the advice for the sign of Taurus? This was quick. We... This is nice. So we have the lovers card coming out for you all. This is not this card doesn't mean take a chance, but I'm hearing take a chance. This is a taking some type of chance on your love life. Um I see the geese. Some of you all may believe in that I'm not even going to say that. I feel like this is you may feel like this is your perfect perfect match. Match made in heaven type of energy justice card. I really feel like someone is getting married. Someone could be celebrating an anniversary or you all getting ready to prepare to celebrate for an anniversary. Some of you all are pregnant and getting ready to have a baby. This is some beautiful uh, stuff right here. I like this. So what's the lovers card here? What's the lovers card? Yes, Ten of Cups. Like, I can't make this up, y'all. I'll show you all the cards. I will show you. That is your advice. The Ten of Cups on top of the Lovers card with the Two of Wands. You're doing something differently here. You uh, took your time. You pulled away from low vibrational toxic energies within yourself and from other people. You said, I ain't got time for that. You want something better. You want something that can lead to long term. 
And I feel like this is what you're getting. This is what you're receiving, Taurus. Something is coming here. Well, look, let me just say this. It's not for everybody, but if you know this is your reading, this is your reading, and congratulations, okay? So we're going to be moving forward, Taurus. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments. If it resonated, how it resonated, leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me, and I'll see you all next time, all right? If you all stay, um, let's keep moving. So we have Gemini that's coming up next. Gemini. That's crazy. I feel the love of Scar just came out. You all, this Taurus is maybe dealing with a Gemini, but let's see what's going on here. Let's change the cards really quickly and um, get into Gemini's reading. Most important messages for the sign of Gemini, please, and thank you. All right. Hey, Gemini. Welcome. Welcome back. To prefer her to roll. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. Hold on, you all. Let me get these cards together really quickly. And then I'm going to do the spirit for the... For the. All right, Gemini. I'm back. Sorry about that. Most important messages for the sign of Gemini, please. And thank you. Most important messages for the sign of Gemini. Messages for Gemini. I'm hearing something about where I want to be. I don't know, like, if you are where you want to be, or it's somewhere you know you where you want to be, or with someone. Most important messages for the sign of Gemini, please. And thank you. We have the three of Pentacles. You're working on something. Um, so you could have just ended something here, and you starting on something new, and you're working on it heavily. Or you could be thinking about ending something that you've been working on. We're going to see. It could have been a fight. Mm, now I'm hearing dime, that it come a dime a dozen. What? That's not. Is that the thing? Mm -mm, I don't think that's it. Is that the saying? More messages for the sign of Gemini. I'm not, I'm not going to get stuck on that. So we have the king of pentacles. Let me know down in the comments. Um... We have the King of Pentacles here next to the Three of Pentacles. So you're working on your finances or you're thinking about maybe settling down. We have the Queen of Wands and the Two of Wands with the King of Wands. Yeah, so I think you may be slowing down on um, casual relationships and you're thinking about uh, settling down in something more solid more messages for the sign of who is this gemini 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 we have the six of swords you're moving on here and then we have the five of pentacles a lack thereof energy yeah something wasn't fulfilling you someone wasn't the devil something you feel like something about it was toxic something was pulling you away from yourself more messages for the sign of gemini you had a world card there it is it came out you don't want to do it give me a second All right. Goodness, Gemini, I really apologize. I'm getting distractions with you all, but I'm going to get these messages out for you. So you're moving on and deciding to end something. You're like you're done with that chapter. Something you're done with six of cups at the bottom of the deck, the two of cups energy. This person is someone that you had a lot of like feelings for or you had some type of connection with this this certain place. But I think you finally realize where you want to be because it's taking me back to that message. Where you want to be. I feel like you might be pulling away from, some, from something or someone. 
you ready to remove yourself here what's the um three of pentacles for the sign of gemini gemini i hope i hadn't called you any other sign but gemini the nine of swords i know why because i don't have the card out here showing me gemini thank you so the nine of swords energy here you are worried about the things that you have worked on or whatever you've been working on up until this point something has been toxic a level of toxicity here with this devil card and the ace of clubs like i said something had been pulling you away from yourself or you started to feel like if you were deserving of, some, of something it's a lack of self-worth there can i get more of the king of pentacles so like you could have i'm looking like it, it's looking like you can it's looking like an energy of you feeling like you have all of the abundance that you need right the money that you need you're financially stable um but it's something that you're ready to walk towards towards that that's missing the six of cups i feel like you feel like you haven't had um a true love connection since maybe back in the day or something like that with the six of cups energy or um like i said it was something that you were feeling with someone recently i'm guessing that you haven't you're, you're not feeling it anymore you're not feeling the same about the certain someone or place two of wands you're ready to do something differently once again you're ready to pull away from something or someone something that you've been going after you're ready to pull away now what's the six of swords what's the six of swords energy please and thank you we have the queen of wands yeah i think it might be someone you were sleeping with you could have had um chemistry in that way and then we have the tower card you know that in order to receive the wish fulfillment that you're looking for something has to change there or maybe you're going towards this queen of wands energy aries leo or sagittarius what's the world card for gemini we have the four of pentacles yeah some of you are feeling like you know you don't want to hold back anymore you want to why am i feeling that maybe some of you all are ready to express yourself yeah i feel like a lot of you are done holding back or yeah, right okay you could you could be ready to express yourself to someone or you ready to just take action towards that place that you want to go where you know you where you know you want to be now it's like you're manifesting that energy of being able to handle it can i see about this queen of wands i want to see what's going on with the queen of wands energy the ace of swords clarity success maybe someone you want to create with this could be your energy where you're ready to where you know where you want to go like i already said you know where you want to go and you know where you'll be successful all right what's the ace of swords then what's the uh clarity doing something different in order to get, get that wish fulfillment that you're looking for whatever what's the advice you're ready to take a different path or a different route to get where you want to go so we have the uh page of cups and there's something else that came out here as well and we have the king of wands someone some of you all may be ready to apologize or damn that is crazy that i'm hearing that song but it's both sides so i'm hearing that song i just left my baby girl a message so i'm hearing that song but from what i'm seeing it could be god dog you've been carrying the burden of a feeling that you've been having and right now you're ready to take action on it so it could be that still so regardless whether you're ready to leave someone or you're ready to take action towards something or someone else or you're ready to leave something okay the king of wands you're just ready for something new anything else about the king of wands yeah i think you desire something different the fourth damn i i flipped the cut the uh, card over in reverse i flipped the card over and it was in reverse the four of cups I wouldn't take it in, re in, re in reverse normally, but 
you may realize that you have been accepting less than you deserve. You've been settling for something and you no longer want to settle. The chariot card is at the bottom of the deck. You don't know. At one point in time, maybe you feel like, I don't know how I'm going to get through this chaos and drama that I'm dealing with. Or I don't know how I'm going to be moving forward with everybody having say, something to say. But I'm definitely taking action on this. You're not happy where you where you are. Or it's just the fact that you feel like you're settling. So I'm going to be moving forward, Gemini. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know that in the comments. If you all, um, if it resonated, how it resonated, leave, leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me. And I'll see you all next time. So we're about to move forward to Virgo. If you all are staying, clear my energy, please. And thank you. Who are you going to, Virgo? Like I see it. Hi, Virgos. Welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her to Row. I love to see that you prefer me. You're about to hop into the arena, see what's going on with you all. Reading about the readings are in general. All the messages will not resonate with everyone. All right. Of course, if you want to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. And I haven't said this this entire time that I've been doing these readings. But make sure you all support the channel. Support the channel. Support the channel. Okay? Most important messages for the sign of Virgo. Please and thank you. Clarify your actions. Clarify what you feel. Clarify, clarify, clarify. Okay, I think that's for you. Because I clarify these messages usually. usually so, let's do Important messages for Virgo. I don't know why I feel like I'm probably reading your energy. It's weird. Mm -mm, I haven't did your reading yet. No. Most important messages for Virgo. No, for real. Maybe because I'm a Virgo. So, most important messages for Virgo, please and thank you. This is my last piece. So we have the Emperor card, and it's crazy because I was seeing the Emperor card in the Two of Cups. Two of Cups, after I said something about expressing or clarifying, clarifying, clarifying your feelings or something like that. Maybe you you are about to clarify your feelings or clarify something or something that's going on to someone else, or you're looking for that from someone. Okay? The Two of Pentacles energy, and then we have the Two of Cups energy. Wow, <laughs> I was just talking about that. As I look at the bottom of the deck with that two of cups energy, someone is going back and forth on how they feel. But maybe you're trying to clarify your own feelings. More messages for Virgo. We have the nine of cups. Being excited, being happy, knowing yourself worthy. I feel like this is someone like, oh, I still got it. I swear, that is how I feel with this card or these two cards right now. Anyway, we have it. We have the Tower card that's coming out and we have the King of Swords. A sense of something. I was trying to catch it. But the Tower card and the King of Swords. What's crazy is, is because I just said I felt like I was already in you all's energy like i did you while i was reading and this this message is, that's coming is is familiar to something that i said to someone else i believe so this person has shifted your reality or the way you think you have grown um intellectually i feel or someone is coming in to make you think differently we have the four of wands this map this is this is heavy masculine energy I was also in another energy where it was a whole lot of feminine energy. Now I'm seeing a whole lot of masculine energy here. Um, the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the with the Knight of Pentacles to the Empress. So someone slowly making their move towards someone, or you moving towards a more balanced situation. Someone is thinking about like planting their roots. Let me get more messages. What's the emperor card? I'm seeing, I'm seeing like someone is excited here. Like I said, it's this energy of I still got it. I still got it. The page of pentacles, I still got it. Here's a, an opportunity that you have that you're taking advantage of. You're ready. We have the ten of wands energy with this higher for energy. Now, you know, it may take a lot of time, energy and work in order to complete this cycle or, or not. 
Not to say, yeah, in order to complete it or to fulfill it or get reach a certain type of level or reach a destination. I feel like this is more of like reach a certain level of life to attain something, right? But we have the death card. Well, oh yeah, so it's this it sources sources letting me know to let you all know or you already know that it's going to take a lot of change in your life. Like, um, you know what you have to let go of certain things or certain behaviors or things like that. Or you may have already been in the midst of doing so or some of you are on a journey of making those things happen. Like I say, you're gonna have a, some type of shift in reality, the shift in the way you think. Um, you're gonna grow intellectually. So we have the nine of cups. What's the nine of cups en energy here? Yeah, you have a better understanding of something, of what you do, or what you of what you want. So we have the six of wands, the queen of pentacles energy. So success and comfort. Queen of pentacles. Okay, this is, this. it's not weird because it kind of makes sense with all this masculine energy. And it seems, it feels, uh, what what um, what they would call it, it feels traditional. So it looks like someone is looking for like a wife. Someone is looking for their wife. Someone's ready to slow down for their wife. Someone is maybe maybe uh, maybe looking at you as a wife, or wondering if things could be successful with you being a wife figure in their life. If it's not just if it's not a relationship, this is just what I'm feeling because you all know that I really don't stick to just relationships. Um, with business as well, you might be walking into a chapter of your life where you are finally successful in some type of um, in whatever. Um, career area that you're in that's not the words that i'm looking for that's not the words that i'm looking for because i was about i was going to say something that's career area what the hell whatever area you're in in your career you're finally becoming successful in that okay you're finally feeling successful also that's because I'm, i was thinking about um someone being independent in what they do someone being some type of entrepreneur or yeah someone starting businesses here someone is finally successful in that area or whatever you're doing why is it hard for me to get the words out excuse me virgo i know you all probably can't stand that but what's the tower card Ooh, yeah so i'm reading y'all so the sun card on top of the tower card Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Eight of Pentacles. Clear my energy. With that, we have the Ace of Cups. Someone had, had someone realized that they were. Someone realized that they was messing up. I was getting, okay. Do I say it? No, I don't even say it. I'm gonna just say, someone realized they were effing up their opportunities, or or effed up an opportunity. Or you feel like this is like something that you don't want to do again. Where you put up some type of opportunity that you had. And you're no longer in denial at the fact that you may have up an opportunity. In whatever area of your life. And it could be career-wise. Career it could be financially. It could be um, uh, emotionally-wise. So it could be like a relationship that you had. Some of you all could be a level of intellect. You may feel like, yeah, because I was just really tripping about me not gathering my words together. So maybe you feel like you could have learned more. I don't know. It could be a schooling situation where maybe you finally got back in school or you graduated, you graduated or... Um, and you realize that maybe you feel like you wasted a lot of time and that you could have already known that already or something like that. Something about devaluing yourself. Moving forward, what's the King of Swords? Going back, because cause now I'm hearing like, because now you see that you already had it in you. So that thing that you tripping about yourself so, you, you, you tripping about yourself so badly, like, 
it's like this energy of beating yourself up because it's the energy of perfection. So because you want to be per this level of perfection or that you have in your life, like you want, you want it to be a certain type of way. You started to look down on yourself. Bam. Come on. You started to look down on yourself, which, which began to cause the devaluing of yourself, which caused you to realize that you may have missed out on opportunities or caused yourself to sabotage opportunities. Okay. It's not that you wasn't smart enough or that you couldn't, right? You, it wasn't that you wasn't smart enough or that you wasn't lovable enough or that you couldn't handle a situation or that you wasn't financially stable enough to get things done. It was about more so that you were beating yourself up saying that you couldn't do something, which triggered the universe to say, okay, well you can't cool. So now I'm seeing it go back. It's going back to that. I got it. I still got it. Oh, this feels good, Virgo. Shoot. Okay. Okay. You know, in the past that you might have, you see, it's another thing about where um, now you're learning about the situations that you may have gotten yourself into in the past. But once again, don't beat yourself up because that because you didn't know. So I guess that would be like the term or it'd be the perfect time to say ignorance is bliss right so let's move forward let's move forward let's get on we'll move on with this what's the sun card took a minute to get it out but here it is so we have the emperor's card on top of the sun card yes nurturing yourself i'm here and correcting yourself being more tender with yourself being lovable this is fertility and abundance and all of that but now we have the empress and the emperor together it's out here together you taking action. It could be a masculine energy taking action towards this em empress energy or a masculine en or the masculine energy within you is ready to take more care of itself, which is taking care of you. You taking action to take care of you. Instead of maybe always taking care of others outside of you before you. Okay. The hangman. See, that's another way that you may have been sabotaging yourself where you felt like you you didn't have the um, ability to take care of yourself because you had other things to take care of outside of you. Remember, it's you first. So, because how can you take care of anything else or anything, anyone outside of you if you're not taking care of the hangman? Seeing things differently in your strength. Seeing things differently in your strength, seeing your strength, seeing you differently, seeing this, seeing the fact that you do have the confidence, you do have the ability, you do have the resilience, okay? You do have enough restraint within yourself to pull back from whatever it is that you need to. Five of Swords, you know, you, you have what it takes. You can do what you have to do. What's the Empress card? Um, the Two of Pentacles going back and forth or... This is more so you can handle this. This is being in control. The six of pentacles and equal give and take. It may take some time for you. Because I see knight of pentacles. No. If or when you realize you're not receiving your value or what it is that you're worth. You have the ability to pull back or to remember the, the situation that you've been putting in before. So the learning opportunities that you've had. Okay. You remember we were talking about you feeling like you wish you would have known what you've known um, now back in the past. Well, maybe it wasn't time for you to understand back in the, back in the day, but now you know better. So when you come into, when you come, when you come across a situation where you're not receiving your worth, you know how to pull back from it. Okay, I feel like I said that message before to someone else, but we're going to go ahead and move on to get you some advice really quickly, Virgo, and close this out. What's the advice for the sign of Virgo, please? And thank you. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse, which is someone being super, like, overly emotional, being bewitched with their emotions, um, the Four of Wands energy, like, maybe if something didn't go right, or you, maybe you felt rejected in a relationship, or maybe you felt rejected by the ones that you love the most. Don't get carried away to into that energy of soaking and like and like I said, devaluing your, devaluing yourself and being overly emotional to the fact that you're not being um you're not being intelligent in the in the decisions make in the in the decisions that you're making. Okay, making intelligent decisions because of the over 
emotional it, uh, because of the over emotions. No, that's not what I'm looking for because of the um, <laughs> drowning of emotions. That's what I was looking for. Excuse me, because of you being drowned, drowned in your emotions, not being know how to deal, not knowing how to deal with them and stuff like that. That's, that means someone's been hurting and not and you haven't been. You haven't been, been dealing with your emotions in a healthy way. Excuse me. So what's the Queen of Cups? Can't make this shit up. We have the Five of Cups. I just said that you wasn't. You haven't been dealing with their emotions in a healthy way. Or you haven't learned how to do so. And now I feel like you're being forced to do so. And your masculine energy is about to. <sighs> this is about your masculine energy also allowing your feminine energy to take care of you as well. And also allowing that masculine energy to. Say no when need to, to help you become the successful energy individual that you can be. So I'm going to leave that there because it seems like it's just a lot of stuff in, entwined in this. Uh, very good average reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments. If it resonated, how it resonated, leave your like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you all. That love me and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Here we go. Uh, we move forward to, uh, to, to Aquarius if you all are staying. But here we go, here we go, here we go. Mm. Most important messages for Aquarius. All right, welcome and welcome back, Aquarius. Welcome to Prefer Her Tell Row. I love to see that you prefer me. So if I talk to see your reading and see what's going on with you all, remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. Aquarius. If you all like to the person reading with me, all of my information is down below. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Most important messages for the sign of Aquarius, please. And thank you. All right, Aquarius, let's get into this reading for you all. Most important messages for the sign of Aquarius, please. And thank you. Most important messages for the sign of Aquarius. So I did take a quick break. I was hungry. Important messages for Aquarius. I'm hearing something about vital signs. So um, pay attention. Be aware. Take notice. Take notes. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. So let's do it. What messages do you have for the sign of Aquarius? Important messages for Aquarius, please and thank you. Something that you're not paying attention to the signs. Or this is someone who could probably be a little pretentious. Someone who isn't um who who may not be ready here for what for what's to come ahead someone who may be all talk okay seven of swords energy next to this page of swords yeah someone's not being honest not being truthful who we are aquarius that's your energy um the six of wands the moon card someone is afraid of success in the relationship i feel or someone's afraid to end a okay here we go someone's afraid to end a dead end relationship someone's being disingenuous about where things are right now someone's um i heard ignorantly ignoring the signs messages for the sign of aquarius the three of wands i feel like you see where things are headed but yeah you're ignoring it nine of wands the chariot card and the strength card you feel like you have the strength to push forward even though something even though the relationship the connection the foundation of whatever situation is bringing you damn it's hell more messages for Aquarius. Five of Pentacles energy almost in reverse. <sighs> almost willing to accept less than your value. Settling. Lack thereof energy here. I'm getting this energy of someone acting like this is where it, where it is, but it isn't. The Magician card at the bottom of the deck. Someone has been trying to manifest commitment. Um... More messages. What's the page of swords? I don't know if that's what you're getting here. So the four of four, the page of swords in reverse is clarified with the four of coins. 
I think you're being told to pull it back, but yet. Nah. You haven't been. Or you're still expecting something out of nothing. Um, more so expecting something out of a nothing situation. I feel like it, something else would come out of this if you would have an independent state of mind. Know your value. Know your worth. Be authentic and true to yourself. What's the Seven of Swords energy? You see how I'm, almost, I'm annoyed? Justice card is in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. There's been some type of unfortunate situation that you've been going through uh, time after time. These unfortunate cycles. These um, patterns of injustice. That's what it is. Patterns of injustice. I don't know if you are causing these you are the one who are um, creating these patterns or you're dealing with situation you're dealing with a situation where is where these patterns are constantly being created or you're attracting this type of stuff because you're being in denial or you act like you're ready for things that you're truly not ready for or um being in the energy of know it all um being unaware or rejecting the truth or something like that Magician card, Queen of Points, Temperance card, Two of Swords. I feel like Swords is trying to give you, okay, give you the chance to slow down so that you can better create what it is that you want. What's this Three of Wands energy? The Three of Cups. It was almost sideways. So maybe you're thinking about, or maybe you know it's best for you to turn away from individuals you want associated with. The page of wands, there's a level of immaturity here. Um, and you've been dealing with these people for a long time, and I guess you're ready. It's actually time for some growth. Also, you might not feel celebrated. This There's a situation that you need to turn away from because you don't feel celebrated or appreciated. What's this five of coins? The Emperor, Divine Masculine Energy, but Seven of Coins, there's a lot of confusion connected to this. This is manipulation. Someone's um, um, manifesting confusion. So, someone is manipulating the situation to keep it foggy, to keep you unclear and unaware. Queen of Swords Energy, that's your energy. Or um, another area, Aquarius, <coughs> Libra, or Gemini Energy. But I feel like you have to cut through the illusions, the BS. Uh-huh. To see the truth or for you to manifest uh, what's real for you. Manifest your dreams maybe. I have to get more on this. What's this justice card in reverse? So we have a Libra. We may have a Libra here. I already said that. <clears throat> you might have a Leo here. A Sagittarius. A Taurus. That is your energy here with the Wheel of Fortune as well. But it may be a Scorpio here. Um, Aquarius, Taurus. I already said Taurus. So what's the Wheel of the Justice card in reverse? What's the justice card in reverse? What's the justice card? Something isn't fair though. You realize something isn't fair. Or yeah, I, I, I think you've been dealing with an unfair situation for a long time. You might have been the person who's been unf been been unfair here, the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> Some of you all were willing to. Excuse me. Some of you all were willing to do Ill illegal things for success, for fortune, for um, instant gratification as well. <clears throat> What's the will of fortune? Abundance with that ten of coins there as well. So someone, yeah, someone was doing doing something illegal, and now I'm seeing a loss. It's not for everyone, but I'm seeing it here. So the page of wands came out on top of the Wheel of Fortune, the Empress card at the bottom of the deck, the, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Hermit card with the Star card. So someone wants something better, but someone is dealing with two individuals as well. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Boy, we're all gonna. Okay, remember this is not for everyone, of course. Um, someone got 
end up getting two people pregnant at the same time as well. But anyway, um, page of wands energy with this will of fortune. Someone is ready to close out a chapter of immaturity, being young and dumb. Someone realizes that's taking getting getting them nowhere. Someone realizes like the older you get, it's time for something better. This person, the Emperor card, is a wise individual, but yet there's a lack thereof energy where you feel like you're missing some type of Emperor energy in your life. But you also realize that you have to take the blindfolds off, get right with yourself, get right, yeah, get right with the source, get right with others who you may need to mend a situation with. <clears throat> Someone knows they've been moving in deception. Someone knows that. I feel like it was something that you didn't want to face about yourself as well. Wait, dang, I already said the being in denial. Let's move on. What's the emperor card? The two of cups a connection a relationship all right so i did see that i just wasn't sure someone felt feels like they failed at a relationship or like a relationship failed so you feel a little bad about that five of cups and the devil card that's keeping you that energy of forgiveness did i say say that at the beginning like there's a level of, like someone needs to forgive themselves or forgiveness i feel like i said forgiveness at one point in time but i see it here where you may need to forgive yourself for some type of failed relationship or where you felt like you failed yourself or others because that's the very thing that's keeping you um bound to something some type of negativity there but i think it's more so you betraying yourself if anything or recognizing when you've been betrayed Someone also realized they've been connected to a, to a low, vibra low vibrational individual. Excuse me. Someone realizes that, realizes that they deserve better. What's the advice for Aquarius? And then we're going to move forward. <clears throat> the Empress card comes out with that Ace of Cups. And I was just looking at the, that card at the bottom of the deck. And it's crazy. This will be the third card, third reading um, that I did. Who, where the emperor and the empress came out and if i'm not mistaken the emperor card came out first and then the empress and this would be the third time it just did that again um and for now as i'm saying it i'm hearing like the masculine energy it's within remember everyone has masculine and feminine energy but i feel like this masculine energy within oneself within each individual is almost ready to save or rescue not only itself but that empress energy as well so mass i mean that feminine energy so it's like ready to protect to 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 hold to comfort that empress energy as well as being open to that comfort of the feminine energy as well um but with allowing that energy to happen or a better balance this feminine energy has to learn how to respect oneself, to take care of oneself, to love oneself, to acknowledge oneself, to acknowledge your emotions, to acknowledge how you truly feel, to work on that if that's what you need to do, to take a different approach moving forward. What's this Empress card here as the advice? King of Swords. Um, 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 for some of you all, it's a child. If it's like you, if some of you all are about to bear a child, this is like a, a fresh opportunity for you to do things differently the way maybe others didn't do for you or something like that. Anyway, um, this King of Swords came out. This full card is here. I don't know if it came out or it was at the top of the deck and I didn't pick it up. So it's I that's crazy because I was just talking about a new beginning. It's a it's a new beginning here, a fresh start. Here you are with the King of Swords, knowing what it is that you want. Knowing to better take care of yourself, take care of yourself, knowing when to yeah, end something or where you need to end things in order to better create for yourself or to create something better for you. What's this ace of one ace of ace of cups? Two of one doing things differently in order to create a better foundation for yourself. The very thing you've been worried about. 
happiness, home, love, celebration, something comfortable. We're going to leave that here, um, Aquarius. That was your reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you all. That love me and I'll see you all next time. So, if you all stay with me or stand with me, we are going towards Capricorn now. Most important messages for the sign of Capricorn. Clear my energy. I'm hearing divine acknowledgement. Most important messages for the sign of I'm saying resenting some things. You resented some things. Um, uh, okay, so I'm hearing divine acknowledgement. And then I heard you resented some things. You Because I heard divine res resentment or something like that. So I feel like you started to resist your higher self. Or the most high to a certain extent. Because you res you've resented the relationship that you had at one point or something that happened in your life so has caused you to have some type of resentment. Most important message, who we on? Capricorn. Capricorn. That makes sense though. Capricorn. That makes a whole lot of sense because you remember you all represent the devil. That's weird. And I don't even like to put that energy on you all like that. It just is what it is. But the, it's crazy how that message that just came up in relation to Capricorn or the devil energy. So, most important message for the sign of most important message for the sign of Capricorn. Alright. What do you have for the sign of Capricorn, please? And thank you. We have the Ace of Wands, Energy to Hang Your Man, shout out, and then we have the Five of Cups. Passion. Seeing things differently. We have feeling sad. Time to appreciate what you already have the six of cups something about the past or childhood could be childhood trauma yeah double part right there so there you are behind the empress but i feel like there was some type of childhood trauma here and it might might have been a relationship relation to the connection to your mother your mother more so or you the way you were nurtured okay one more card for the sign of capricorn the ace of coins so a, a new opportunity taking advantage taking yeah taking advantage of a new opportunity because we have the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so the opportunity is here now it's time for you to take advantage of it are you ready ten of wands so it might be taxing but i feel like it will be well worth it star card renewal hope and faith what is the ace of wands i'm here in final chapter so we have the Throw it up. Four of coins. Holding back. You've been holding back something. So we do have. We have two aces here. So you've been holding back. Um, something that you've been passionate about. Something that you've been wanting to do. Something that you've been inspired to do. You've been holding back. Why have you been holding back? Some of you feel like you don't have what it takes. Some of you feel like you don't. You don't have enough of something. What's the hanging man? Pisces energy. Five of swords doing what you doing what you have to do a fight. You don't want to fight. Or this fight, this argument, something that was said, make make it, it makes you feel stuck. Makes you feel trapped. Or it was something that was said that causes or brings enlightenment to you. The higher thing. A teaching and learning experience. Maybe you learn something about a third party connection or um, you you end up having learning. You end up learning something about someone you were connected to, like a friend or something like that. That's for some of you all. Like you didn't expect to hear that about this individual. What's the five of cups? I don't know if you're concerned or what. You might you might be concerned. So we have the king of coins. Here you are. The, and then we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, I didn't want to say it was something about your finances, but it it definitely is. And what 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 about your finances? <laughs> Weird. This is crazy. 
some of you all thinks that it, it think okay well but it's true to a certain extent let me say it some of you all think that it's going to take a lot of finances in order to have some type of relationship i see the king and the queen of cups and, the, uh, and it's, there's an emotional connection or the balance between the masculine and the feminine emotionally within you but you feel like you need to have more financially in order to um take advantage advantage of the opportunity okay let me bring up this then well for some of you who feel like you don't have like you don't have it like that to have a healthy relationship sometimes there are opportunities opportunity that is here where people are willing to grow with you but when it comes down to that if we want to talk about relationships you have to be willing to grow and get to know people instead of just hopping into relationships and thinking that someone's going to take care of you or expect um to take care of a person and you end up overburdening yourself also um There was communication about this as well. There was some type of communication about this as well. I don't know. Maybe the communication is what brought the enlightenment. It was it probably could have been an, an argument to a certain extent, but if we're gonna move forward, what's the ace of coins? What Capricorn? We have the death card to bring check. Yeah, I just be reading these cards and I just, I just read the energy. So the death card is on top of the ace of coins, which is an opportunity to change everything pretty much, right? The lovers card is at the bottom of the deck with the emperor card. So I feel like this is a masculine energy more so thinking about what it is that they have to do, what it is that they need to um, gain or attain in order to have a healthy relationship so yes you want to be financially stable but this is a person who realizes like okay this is a person who may be um emotionally mature but realizing that they want to be a little bit more financially stable in order to have this is a person who wants like a power couple situation they want more they they don't want to be um in order or an ordinary individual you don't have you don't want to have the ordinary ordinary relationship you want to have a foundation that you could build upon and then your children and their children can have as well so it's a legacy that you want okay that's what's up mm-hmm can't be i can't make it up Hi, all right so what's the death card scorpio energy Four card new beginnings so it could be a scorpio here that you're dealing with an aries uh the queen of cups is there there's a lack thereof energy and connection to some type of emotional uh feeling or having that emotional connection with someone you feel like you want that with a certain individual or something like that but i feel like someone is ready to go through the changes so they can uh, go towards this new beginning step into this new beginning step into your purpose or something like that as well what's this full card excuse me what's the full card nine of nine of coins so you gotta find your end you're gonna find you first know your value first get your bag up if that's what it is that you want to do or something like that um this is you being authentic to you being happy with who you are with or without someone right the um being independent the so maybe you needed to remove yourself out of, of a situation as well or learning how to be an individual this is you learning how to be an individual in order to have a healthy connection as well. The lover's card at the bottom of the deck. So this king of coins wants to grow into this emperor card. That's what I feel as well. This person wants to grow a little bit more. So this might be a great individual. This might be a great person. But this person wants to grow and develop into a better person as well. So what's the um, advice for Capricorn? Two of wands to do something differently. Two of wands. Just do something differently. I don't know what it is. Or take a different... Take, take a different... Um, route take a different road take the road less traveled okay instead of taking the easy way out take the road less traveled some of you are not even having sex right now i see it you've been holding it back holding out so the knight of swords king of cups temperance wow as i say holding it back but you've been getting your emotions together getting you together 
justice, bringing yourself back into balance and realizing what it is that you want, learning about what it is that you want, how to move um, towards it, investing into yourself. You're bringing about the changes and transformation in your life. Yes, you are. So we're going to leave that there. Capricorn, I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know that in the comments. If it resonated, how it resonated, leave, like, leave your like, shares, all of that good stuff. I love you all. That love me and I'll see you all next time. But if you all stay with me, I am going towards Pisces. Clear my energy. I'm here on board. All right, Pisces. Some of you all might be going on a trip more so on a boat, on a ship. What is that on a cruise? God, dog. Some of you all might be going on a cruise. But you are a water sign, Pisces. So let's see. Most important messages for the sign of Pisces. Now I'm here and get a grip. All right, get on board and get a grip. Most important messages for the sign of Pisces. Important messages for the sign of Pisces. Something industrial. Important messages for Pisces. Important messages for the sign of Pisces. Well, thank goodness that I'm already almost finished. Some distractions outside that I hear, but I'm almost done. So, hey, um, seven pulls imprisonment energy, the devil card. Something may have you in your head. So, I, I was just talking about that distraction or whatnot. So, we're just going to shuffle a little bit more, but something could, make, could be having you feel caught up. This card wants to be out here. As I'm trying to put it back up, it's coming out. Self-imposed imprisonment. You could be dealing with um, a Gemini here. Someone feels if someone is going through a mental entrapment. Why? I have no idea. Cause I'm not even sure. Like, if that was for you, because I was just randomly talking, then the car just jumped out. It could be for you. It could have been for you for sure. But it could have been the distraction I was just talking about, right? I don't know. Most important messages for the sign of Pisces. We have the Knight of Coins, slow motion, but for show motion, taking your time. We have the Nine of Coins, but then we have that Seven of Wands. So, I feel like maybe you feel like you've been slowed down. Like something is trying to stop you from doing something, from moving forward. Knight of Coins, but it's slow motion, but for show motion, just take your time. Things will happen eventually, I guess. Could be a Virgo here. More messages for the sign of who we on Pisces. It could be a Taurus. We have the Moon card, Afraid. Something may be happening at night. Um, this could be you having to face some type of fears. I'm here. Maybe you in denial. We have the page of cups, the strength card. Maybe some of you all have to have the strength to apologize to someone or to open up. More messages for Pisces. Excuse me while Pisces study is you. I'm so crazy. So that's your energy. You feel like you slow down. You feel like you're being slowed down. The Scorpio energy here with the death card. And then we have the three swords. Something is in it. I don't think you like it. It's bringing you anxiety. I feel like this energy of anxiety. Anxiety. So I was talking about this energy of like fears. I having to face some fears. Or maybe something happening at night or whatever. And then I realized like a oh, duh. That's your energy Pisces. But something is bringing you like. It's irritating you a little bit. Like I said it's bringing you anxiety. I see the three of swords. Something that may be hurting you. That something has some something that has come to an end. The sun card and the ten of wands. I feel like some type of light is being shined on. The burdens that you've been dealing with. The hurt that you're dealing with. It's like you can't avoid what you're feeling right now. I'm seeing. I thought something was turning around. But it's almost as if. Once things start turning around. You feel like. There's some type of deception connected to it. Or. Let me get more messages. Pisces. 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 More messages for the sign of Pisces. The Ace of Cups. Okay, cool. So we have the Ace of Cups coming out and then the Page of Coins. With The Page of Cups is at the bottom of the deck again with the Strength card. So I still feel like someone is needing to have the strength to apologize to someone or you have to have the strength and confidence to open up to something or someone new. Uh, Something has... Cause you, I'm guessing, to hold back. 
but whatever this ending is 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 pushing you to have a little bit more self respect for yourself and appreciation for yourself. Three of coins, you working at something. What's this knight of coins, please and thank you. The higher fan. Work something that you was working on that something that you were working on. There was some type of confusion attached to it or uncertainty. And it also led to some type of hurt. It could be a Leo individual here as well. But I'm seeing someone being burdened or this light being shined upon out of this negative energy. That's okay. It's like you've been pouring pouring into negativity. Whether you it's like you try to avoid the fact that you may have been pouring into negativity or involved with someone who was negative or um, doing something that maybe you wasn't supposed to be doing or something like that. It's like you you getting a, you finally realizing what's not for you or what's not taking you further. What's holding you back? What's the moon card? The three of cups. It could be your friends. It could be the people you associated with. Who you go out with at night. Tower card. Sudden shift. The full card. The eight of swords. So that's that self-imposed imprisonment that I've seen from the very beginning. It's like. You try to take a chance on something or someone. And then. They lead you down a road of destruction. Or just lead you somewhere that you didn't want to go. Right? And then you're looking at them like, well, why would you do that? What's the death card? Why would you put me in this situation type of shit? So we have nine of coins. Independence, individuality, doing something on your own. Change the game. Maybe it's time to leave someone behind. Maybe it's time to do something on your own. Have some self-love and self-respect. The five of coins is at the bottom of the deck. The queen of cups, the king of wands, and then we have the six of swords. Maybe you were de you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in, um, individual. Maybe you thought everything was all fun and games until somebody got hurt. And it seems like it could have been you or something, a hanging man. Maybe you feel trapped and you're trying to figure out a way out now. Like, what the... Uh, what's this Ace of Cups? Also, it could be... For some of you, I could be an, an ending to you being single or something like that. Don't really feel it, but could be that. What's the Ace of Cups? What's the Ace of Cups? Not from like it's like from what I'm seeing, this looks like a person who realizes that the self-respect comes from within and you will find some more more success with loving yourself. Um, it seems like it's something that needs to be rejected, which is certain people that you once associated yourself with. Um, it seems like Source has been teaching you or trying to get you to understand some type of lesson. The Knight of Wands, the Temperance card. Yeah, it seems like you've been a little shaky, baby. Like you've been doing, like you, you may have been a little messy or being a little impulsive. And Source is trying to get you to calm down a little bit as well. Create some type of boundaries for yourself. Stop you in, in, in your tracks. What's the pay? So Pisces, I did take the time out to go back to see what I was talking about because I was distracted. When I came back in, I started to clarify the higher friend, which this Queen of Wands in reverse came out. And I was completely threw off. I'm like, well, where is this going? And then I realized that I needed to clarify the page of coins, which ended up being the Five of Cups. So I'm feeling like they messed up, this, that, and the other. And then I went further to do the advice. And the Magician card came out. And then the Ace of Wands with the Ten of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So, the advice would be for you to manifest the yet at the bottom of the deck. It looks like someone felt like they were betrayed sexually. Maybe you feel like you were betrayed in a relationship, in a connection some way, somehow. But then I went back to listen, like I said, to see what the heck was going on and how to... How I was going to finish this reading. Well, not how I was going to finish the reading. But where things were going so I could finish the reading, right? I finally get the picture. 
finally get what I, I finally get the picture. Unfortunately, I was talking about how some of you all may have been moving impulsively, a little distracted, and also messy to a certain extent. I believe I was saying something like that, which could have been because clarifying that higher than when I like I said the Queen of Wands came out in reverse, and I'm like, well, that that seems like a little like a 304 ish type of individual. So maybe. I'm going to just be honest, either you or someone you were dealing with or people that you were involved with, associated with, these people were super messy when it came down to their relationship or the way that they lived, period. And I think that you're starting to realize that, that if you really want some type of change in your life, that you're going to have to um, disassociate yourself from those acts and those people. But we're going to move forward. We're going to go back a little bit, clarify this page of coins, and then move to the higher friend and stuff like that. Clarify the page of coins, please, and thank you for the sign of Pisces. So, we have the Ace of Wands coming out on top of the page of coins. Um, two of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the page of cups, and then the King of Coins. There could be, I feel like I may have said this, there could be an apology that needs to be had. Maybe towards a Virgo, towards Capricorn here, we have the Eight of Coins. Um, you putting in some type of work, or this could have something to do with work. Your hope, some of you all hope for a better situation at work, but you're being called to do something differently. And what have whatever you're doing, it's time for you to take a different route. I see that you're inspired, but so it's also wants you to, to take advantage of some type of gift or opportunity that you have. It's like you're prepared to do so. Let me get a little bit more on this. I'm going back to the higher fence so I can get back to this as well. What's the higher fence? The sign of Pisces. The seven of coins. Yeah, you're being called to pull it back. Empress of Dance. It is someone. It is someone. It is a female. It is a woman. It is a woman. I'm hoping it's not you. Well, there's a woman here. She's scandalous. Or. Or. Hold on, wait. Someone was being scandalous. And I feel like there was some type of illusion being put up. Like where someone was seen as one thing. But they were probably the other. And then someone was seen as one thing. And they were probably the other. Um, someone had issues with their mother like okay that's what's okay someone had issues with their mother these this was a lot of this stuff was stemming from issues with your mother And I think it caused you to act out and become a person that you truly are not. And it also made you look at women a certain type of way. You see how I end up saying female? I'm like, hold on. I don't, I don't think I say that like that. But women made you look at women a certain type of way. And if you're a woman, made you look at yourself a certain type of way. Sources asking you to pull back from some type of investment. Maybe you invested into this energy, the constant investment into this energy, or the way you've been moving. Because someone has turned into like a like a cold-hearted individual, being like a B-I-Z-C-H, being very low vibrational, maybe betraying um, really good individuals around you, or maybe truly betraying your divine feminine within yourself. I'm seeing the energy, I'm seeing the fight, I'm seeing the composition, I'm seeing the dr dr the, the, the dramatics because I'm hearing dramatics. I'm not even just dramas, the dramatics like the, always extra. Probably involving yourself with extra individuals because of the stuff that they've been through, and maybe you were trying to relate to those people. Trauma bonding. So, what's the ace of wands energy? The queen of wands did come out. And then we have the six of coins. So remember, I was just talking about. Remember, I was just talking about the queen of wands. And when I was a little bit confused and unsure, she came out on top of the higher fate in reverse. Now she's coming out upright on top of the ace of wands. And I feel like this is your passion. This is you being creative. This is you being um, driven to manifest, right? And 
you having all of these ideas that you've been holding back on for whatever our reason. And it's time for you now to have the strength to allow something to tower out. Because you feel like you something has been something has kept you tied up and stuck and bound to something. I'm not sure what it is. I think he's in in now you finally realize well Nick, if I cut ties with that, if I cut ties with that, I could do much better. I could benefit moving on. I could manifest what it is. I could create the stuff that I truly want to create. Because you remember I when I was talking about um I was just trying to move forward and I was a little confused, but it was just so off. I didn't want to do it like that. So I cut the video. I went back to see what the hell was going on. Um, before that, the magician card came out as the advice and it makes so much sense as I complete the reading. You still can manifest and create what it is that you want, but maybe you have to realize that you need to sever ties with these individuals or whoever you were associated with at one point in time so that you can get that so that you can have reciprocity. Because I don't think that you've been receiving a reciprocity. Uh-uh. Or, or the reciprocity that you deserve. Maybe it's something that you deserve. You Maybe you deserve a little bit more or something like that. But if it's not equal, it's not reciprocity, right? But anyway, two of, two, of, two of coins at the bottom of the deck. You holding back. Or maybe you've been holding back. And it's time for you to give freely to a certain extent it has to be some type of balance where maybe if you were holding back maybe it's time for you to give or maybe it's time for you to allow someone to help i don't know it could have something to do with the aries leo sagittarius as well with that queen of um, wands maybe it's a i don't know but let's get some advice really quickly and then i'm gonna close this out pisces what's the advice for the sign of pisces please and thank you ha i can't make this up what so it's like look and it's still the advice. The advice stays. The magician guard. It's time for you to manifest. Use what you have to get what it is that you want. Okay? The knight of swords at the bottom of the deck. And then you with the high priestess. The chariot card. No, the six of cups and the chariot card. I think it's time for you to move, move away from the past. But it's something that you may have to deal with from the past. Okay? Communication here or action. Yeah, it's time to take action on the, the 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 divine knowledge that you're receiving. Maybe um, I feel like it's also a relation. Maybe it's a relationship with a an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini individual. I see this energy. You working in a low vibrational energy, but you also have to realize the toxicity that was connected to it. But anyway, what's the Magician card as the advice? Why is the Magician card coming out as the advice? We have the Lovers card and the Empress card. This is better choices for you. Feminine energy, whether you're a man or a woman. This is making better choices for you. Manifesting. Manifest. Manifest that true love connection that you're looking for. Manifest you making better decisions for yourself. For being in control of yourself. You let go. This is someone who let go. This is someone who let go. I don't care if you're a woman or a man. This is someone who let go of their feminine side. And you allow people to just take control of you. Oh, you can make me feel good. Oh, you can make me feel good. Um, What else? Um, Give me something else that a feminine energy would do after she let go of herself. It could be like you don't care about the way you look. Um, you're not really mindful about the way you act. You don't really care about the way you act. Uh, you don't care about who loves you or who you love, like who you find, who you end up creating connections with. I feel like this is being more in control of that energy, having more self-respect about that energy within you. Because once you do so, you will be able to attract better connections, whether it's intimate or not. You'll be able to have those boundaries, have better respect for yourself to learn who and who not to be to have your energy field. That's why I feel like it's more so about. Can I get more on this? What's the lovers card for the sign of Pisces? We have the six of cups. Mm-hmm. The king of king of yeah. I'm about to show you something. 
I'm going to show you something. I'm going to just be honest. Just here it is. This is what I see. We have the King of Wands. We have the King of Cups. We have the Devil card. We have the Ace of Swords and the Four of Wands. This is someone who knows that they tethered themselves in situations, two situations. This is someone who knows that they may have tethered themselves to situations or people or places in the past, not caring about how you felt how others felt in the picture, how we, how you or your children may feel in the long run, stuff like that. What's the Empress card? The Empress card just fell off my desk in reverse. She hasn't been respected within you, or you may not have even respected the energy around you. So we have the Tower card coming out in the Judgment card, a shift. And then we have a judge, the judgment card, which is a change or making it or making that decision to create that change. So the shift happens. Now, are you going to make that change? What you going to do to make things better for yourself? Are you willing to put in that work? What's the tower card? This is Scorpio energy. We have the eight of cups. There's yeah, something shifts where it pushes you to walk away. Justice card. This is what what's best for you, especially if you want to reach that happiness within yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Stop being in denial about what having to move on from a situation that you know may not be valuing you um, or bringing value to you. What's the judgment card? We on the Pisces. Eight of Wands. Taking action. Moving towards your, towards your goals. Taking action towards the things that you've been thinking about. Long and hard. About what it is that you truly want. Those fresh and new opportunities. Are you going to course correct in order to get what it is that you want? Are you going to pull back from individuals or behaviors that you, that are no longer serving you to get what it is that you want? To manifest that beauty and love that, 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 that you want in your life. So look, Pisces, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know that in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave your like, shares, all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.